Hello, Slicey Dicers. This is Brian with another knife review for you. Today we have the American Buffalo Knife and Tool Grunt. You probably heard I took a, a breath there. We're going to call it ABKT for the rest of that because that's what they call themselves as well. Uh, I was really intrigued by this knife. I walked up to their booth at Blade Show because they had uh, they had previously sent me the uh, this knife, the Warthog, which I was uh, very intrigued by. I really like this knife a whole lot. It's actually in running for uh, one of my budget knives of the year, I think, at the end of the year in the, my top 10, whatever thing. It's a really nice knife, and I, I really enjoyed having it, and I was very impressed by it. So I just wanted to go and see what else they had. The answer is a lot. Uh, they, they do a lot. They have uh, a couple lines of more traditional stuff, Roper and Cattleman. They have fixed blades. They have some more modern stuff like this, like the Grunt and the Warthog. It's a very, a very wide-ranging line of stuff they have, and I think a lot of people don't really know about them, and I just wanted to put it out here. Everything is made in China, but run by a very nice company uh, here in America. Uh, again, I'm going to link specifically to this Grunt down below, but, but please go explore their site. They have some uh, really cool stuff, and the two examples that I've spent some time with you know, two out of two, uh, they, they've both been really, really nice. So, uh, and, and the people seem great. I really had a good time talking to them. And uh, yeah, I, I, I do feel very confident in the company and, and what they're putting out. This particular model, very inexpensive. It is very small. I'm putting a standard US quarter here, you can see. It ain't big. Uh, it, it's a little big knife, one of those kind of knives, but uh, I really like the whole things about it. And it's only, 22 bucks uh, that's the cheapest i've found it um i think at blade show they were 20 uh but 22 is what i find at most places on the internet i think it's uh 25 if you go straight to their website uh, but uh it's a very inexpensive knife 8 cr 13 mov steel I'm not going to give it the womp womp because it's cheap enough that i don't really care and uh, really nicely contoured g10 handles uh, runs on bearings they call it the ABKT bearing system. I tore it apart. It just it doesn't look like anything special, but I don't know. It just looked like normal ball bearings to me. I, I, I apologize in advance if uh, if there is something special about them that I didn't notice, but uh, um, it, they definitely work very well. Uh, really nice standoffs. It's uh, it's pretty darn impressive for the price. I do have to say, uh, if you look at it, fit and finish is excellent. Uh, I have zero complaints with how this thing is made, especially for the price. And honestly, if it if it was twice the price, I probably still wouldn't have any complaints. Uh, the hardware is not amazing, but again, the price, it's uh, really well done. And I think very attractive looking little knife. I really like the look of it. The blade's all belly, uh, but I, I really like it. Nice hollow grind and everything. Uh, yeah, maybe, they, maybe the font could have been fancier. That's about all I have to say about it. <laughs> it's honestly the only complaints I have about the way it looks. I really like it. Uh, now let's do some specs and size comparisons before we get too much farther. You have an overall length of five and three quarter inches, a blade length of 2.4 inches, and uh, you have a blade thickness of 0 0.11 inches, which is uh, per, much thinner than I was expecting it to be, and a handle thickness of 0 0.57 inches, and a weight of just uh, 2.65 ounces on my scale, so not too bad. It just barely misses that ounce per inch ratio, but it, but it comes darn close. <clears throat> now, uh, size comparison-wise, this is going to be a bit silly because this is a very small knife. I forgot to be, mute my computer, sorry about that. Uh, we have the uh, Spyderco Paramilitary 2. It's obviously much, much, much larger. And the Para 3. This is just for consistency's sake. It's obviously smaller than either of these. And now for some more relevant ones. Uh, we will bring out a couple here. I actually don't have that many small knives around right now, which I think I need to remedy that somehow. But give your Kaiser Mini Sheepdog. You can see it's even just a little bit smaller than that. And the Spyderco Dragonfly 2. This is the Warncliffe version, but... The regular version is exactly the same in length and all that stuff. So, yeah, uh, very small little knife. Definitely a kind of fifth pocket little knife, which uh, I, I like knives like that. It's definitely kind of a secondary sort of knife. Um, but this blade on this is really good. I mean, yeah, the 8CR is it? No, it's not the best deal in the world, but at the price, you can't complain. But it's really nicely hollow ground, pretty thin uh, blade stock, just 0 0.11. And 
not too bad behind the edge, 22 thousandths behind the edge. It slices really, really well. It actually is a good little user. And um, I guess I wasn't expecting that looking at it when I picked it up. I just thought, oh, it's probably going to be kind of thick behind the edge. And I just thought it was cute. And I and I liked the action on it and stuff. I was very impressed by the action. So that's kind of why I got it. But it actually turns out it's a pretty good little slicer. It's kind of sheep's footy. Recur not recurvy, sorry. Uh, this kind of sheep's footy blade. It's all belly. Like it, it works really well for kind of you know daily EDC sort of stuff. Tip is very very robust on it. You don't have to worry about that. Again, it's just an excellent little user. Now, uh, as far as the uh, carry goes, or ergos, we'll do that first. With we'll the ergos, since I have it here, um, you know, it's not not a th not a four finger knife. Never gonna be, but it's an extremely comfortable three finger. It really is. You can feel that pocket clip, but it's really nicely shaped to the point where I can't call it a hot spot. It's you can feel that it's there, but obviously on a knife this small, you're not going to be able to hide the pocket clip from from people. And I love where this uh, where the blade is swept up a little bit like that. It's exactly where your thumb wants to land. It's very comfortable to use for its size. It is extremely comfortable to use. I I really do like that. The nicely contoured handles. Yeah, it's pretty good. You don't see that on the, uh, what, much more expensive, what, three times, two and a half times price uh, on the Sheepdog. You don't see that. Uh, yeah, very, very, very comfortable in the hand, I do have to say. Um, now, as far as the carry goes, this is definitely a, a, a fifth pocket kind of knife. I'm not even going to bother showing it to you in the main pocket because I that's never how I've never carried it that way. And my fifth pocket is kind of destroyed in these jeans. I do really need to get new ones. I'm sorry that I haven't yet. But uh, slides in and out pretty good. The this the, it's a the ramp could stand to be a bit higher, but I think if it was, it might be more of a hot spot. So I don't really complain about that. But once you get past that ramp, it slides in pretty good. Fits in that fifth pocket completely perfectly. It's excellent for that. And you know that that's how 90% of us are going to carry this knife. Let's be honest. Um, in the, in the main pocket, yes, you can slide your hand by it and all that stuff. Uh, the only complaints I have with the carry is, yeah, that ramp could be a little bit higher. But other than that, I, I, I don't have any complaints with the carry at all. As far as the action goes, keep in mind the price. This is, uh, 22 bucks. Detent is perfect. Just perfect for a knife this size. It is absolutely perfect. Now... It's, and it is fairly drop shutty. The only thing that makes it not more drop shutty is really just that the, the detent releases late enough that your finger's kind of hitting the flipper tab. Again, this is a product of packaging of a small knife. But yeah, it's pretty darn good. I do have to say, I really like the action on this. It's very fun to fiddle with. Uh, shockingly fun to fiddle with for a knife of this price. It is... Uh, it's it's a really just fun little fidgety knife. I what kind of makes me think is such it's such a good fifth pocket knife size wise. If your primary that day is something that's not fun to play with, say a uh, cold steel triad lock or a big you know spider co back lock, they're great knives, but they're not fun to play with. And you just want something that's a little bit more fidgety for your secondary. This is a really good option because they cost their cheapest chips. You know I. And that's kind of my conclusion on it is, man, for the price, what, what, what can you say bad about it? Nothing, uh, nothing. And they're not just available at ABKT. They are available at uh, Blade HQ, a bunch of other places I've seen. They are a company I think nobody knows about, but they are distributing very, very widely. And what I like about them too is now I, I see like they put on their Instagram and stuff like uh, new dealers they have. And it's a lot of really small like hardware stores, mom and pop places. I think this is a great line of knives to have in those places because it's a lot. They're all infinitely better than, you know, your normal gas station knife, your tech forces, things like that. It, they're infinitely better than that. They're definitely good enough that if somebody just walks in there and they're buying you know, roofing shingles, I don't know what people buy at Home Depot and places like that. I don't, I don't pay attention. But, uh, um, they're not at Home Depot, but you know, you're a mom and pop store. Uh, it is, they're good enough that you're going to buy that stuff. And then you pick one of these up and you're like, wow, this is really cool. And they're good enough to really get someone into the hobby. They are fantastic entry level knives, fantastic gift knives. 
um, I've, I've kind of been already thinking about Christmas presents and stuff, and yeah, I might buy a few grunts for some people, because it would just be a cool little knife to handle, to hand to somebody. They're not intimidating, uh, they're easy to use, and they're just, it's really, really nice. An 8CR13, it's super easy to sharpen, it has that going for it. i uh, a really big fan of this thing, and I really hope a lot of people, uh, pay more attention to it. Uh, it won't be on my top 10 20 budget knives of 2019 only because it came out like last year uh, other than that I, I would almost certainly have it on that list it is a really really good little knife uh, very much enjoying it hope you guys enjoy this video as much as i've enjoyed this knife probably not but if you do uh, that would be great and uh you know click like subscribe hit the patreon all that stuff have a good one i've been brian